All right, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS of Kalani camp. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rokar Gadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessings to those elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I'm the brother Isaiah. Brother Kazatba. You know, we are once again the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp. And today we're going to go through a lesson proving that the Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are scattered among the people, you know? Scattered yeah. among all nations, you know? And in turn with that, you're going to be looking like the other nations, you know? And ultimately, today, the lesson is just going to be going into how the Israelites were scattered from one end of the earth, even onto the other. That's right. That's, um, I'm going to get that Deuteronomy first, right? Yeah. We'll start at um, 15, or start at 1, 15, and then jump to 64. Okay. This is Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 28, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day mm -hmm. that Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth yeah so be hearken unto the voice of the Lord and the voice of the Lord is what the prophets you know in this term in this term it was um the prophet um Moses you know so we would have hearken unto him and um did the law slash commandments of the bible you know and then all the law slash commandments then what we would have um we will have remained in our land, and we will have been the top nation on the earth. That's right. Verse 15. Yeah, jump to verse 15. It says, But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power. Yeah, it's evident that we didn't hearken, because we're not in our land. We're not the top nation on the earth right now, you know? That's we're right. not ruling the earth in righteousness. Go ahead. Okay, it says, To do... To observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah, and that's what's happening now. The curses have fallen upon us and have overtaken us. Go ahead. I'm going to jump down to 64 now. Okay, this is verse 64. And this is, all right, so basically Deuteronomy 15 all the way down to 68 are the curses that were going to befall the children of Israel. You know, and this verse 64 is one of the curses. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. And it reads, And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people. Yeah, so the Most High was going to scatter who? The children of Israel among all people. Why? Because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. The Most High kicked us out of our land and, um, and had us dwell among the heathen. That's right. It says, From the one... This from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Yeah, so from one end to the earth, even unto the other, from the east coast, all from the rising of the sun all the way here to in the Americans, you know, the west coast, the the western hemisphere. That's right. Go ahead. It says, And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Yeah, you see that now. You see Israelites, we got discontinued from our heritage. And you see the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans serving uh, these false idols, you know? Okay, okay. And, you know, when it says uh, that we scattered amongst all the nations because we didn't follow the laws, that's commandments. Mm -hmm. That's the Lord pinning us uh, amongst and under our enemies and stuff, you know? Yeah, and in turn with us, the Lord um, putting us under our enemies, what we were raised to um, worship their gods and their idols. That's know? right, that's right. Especially here in this, especially here in these last days, you know, because we were discontinued from my heritage once again. That's right. I got. Let me get that precept. This is Baruch chapter two, verse twenty-eight. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel. Come, oh, man. Say something on that one, because like the brother believes he said the the. The voice of Yahweh by Shem Shai was through a prophet, and who was the prophet at the time? It was Moses. So this is a direct precept to, um, to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Mm -hmm. Saying, if you will not hear my voice, there goes the voice again, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Kind. So the Lord scattered us instead of being one collective, 
nation, big nation. Mm-hmm. All right, we are not scattered out the four corners of the earth, man. You know, a little bit of Jake here, a little bit of Jake there. You know. Yep. That was that was pretty much the point that you know you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got scattered. I'm gonna get Tobit. Right. This is the book of um. Tobit, in the Apocrypha, the book of Tobit, chapter thirteen. And I'm going to start at verse 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. Right. And if anybody knows, the Apocrypha uh, takes place uh, in the uh, between the Roman captivity and, you know, the uh, the Babylonian and um, Assyrian and... Um, uh, the Persian, uh, you know, uh, captivities, man. So who who were we under in that time? In the time of the Greeks, you know. Mm. So we were scattered amongst, you know, the Greeks, you know, Hellenized and everything. Yep. So you know, we were those Gentiles, you know, uh, carried away to those idols, you know, as the scriptures say, man. You know, so it's talking about us. Can you read up one more time. Yeah, that's First Corinthians twelve and two. This is um Tobit thirteen and three. Confess him before the Gentiles. Ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. Kai, he scattered us among them, among the actual, you know, heathen, you know. The mm-hmm. Lord scattered us among them. Like I said, a little bit of Jake here, a little bit of Jake there, you know. So, we, we you know, we go to the uh, the children of Israel amongst the Gentiles, as the scriptures say. Yeah, that's why when we go on the highways and byways, we go to the chief place of concourse, you know. That's right. Because um, Israelites are scattered everywhere, you know. And in term of them being scattered, they're going to look like the other nations. And they're going to be taking on the customs of these other nations. At least um, at least they'd be part of the elect. And they're going to return back to the Heavenly Father and repent. And um, return to their heritage, their true nationality as children of Israel. Okay. Even um, some of these... Um, Two thirds are gonna um, repent. Well, not repent to the doctrine. They're gonna acknowledge that they're Israelites, though. You know, okay. you only know, the elect will be saved. Yeah, you know, this is a just a, what they would call a baby step towards you know understanding, you know, Israelite foreigners and stuff. You know, a confusion of faces because to understand confusion of faces, you have to know that we were scattered amongst the nations. You know, and mm-hmm. if you deal like the brother said, if you deal with their women. Over time, your seed is going to look like that heathen nation. Yep. Um, I got St. John 7. Right, Unless you got a precept. No, no, I'll get it right now. St. John 7. Yeah, you can get it tomorrow, bro. Yeah, so you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are scattered amongst the nations. That's why the Lord has us preaching out there on the highways and byways to gather his elect, you know? Okay. That's why it tells you when... Um, I believe that's Matthew's, the 28th chapter, where he says, go and teach all nations, you know? Because the children of Israel are scattered amongst all nations. John, it's uh, John 7 and 35. 35. This is the uh, book of John, chapter 7, verse 35. And it reads, Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go? That we shall not find him. Mm-hmm. So the Jews are um are um talking amongst themselves, you know, the Southern Kingdom, you know, of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yeah, Benjamin Judah, uh, Benjamin Judah, Benjamin Levi, Slakia. <laughs> yep. It says, um, will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles? Yeah. So he said, shall he go to the dispersed? And I got the word dispersed in the blue there. I already had it pulled okay. up. Yeah. It's um, dispor- dis- disper- um I'm just going to have Esau say it. Yeah. Slack, yeah. Let me see if it says it. Um, It's not saying it for some reason. Let me show you. Oh, it's a lot, bro. G1290. Diaspora. Diaspora. Yeah, so basically, when you look up that definition, it says a scattering, uh, dispersion of Israelite mm. dispersed among foreign nations. Okay, so if we say we go to the dispersed among the Gentiles, all right, you know, and and, and it says and teach the Gentiles, it means the dispersed of the nation Israel, because we just read in Baruch, the Gentiles that I was talking about 
was the Israelites who was, that we were scattered, you know, among the, the actual heathen, right? Yeah, well, that wasn't Baruch and Tobit, you yeah, know? Yeah, kind. Yeah. So it shows that those Israelites, those Gentiles that can be, uh, that can, you know, repent and turn back, those are Israelites, man. Yeah. Yep. Um, because they were in a Gentile state of mind, like you mentioned earlier, you know? Kind. You own um, St. John 11 and 50, start 50. All right. All right. Because, you know, it's basic. And we just bring out some basic scriptures proving that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true, the true Israelites according to the Bible are scattered, you know? Okay. This is um the book of John, chapter 11, verse 50. Mm -hmm. Nor consider that it is expedient for us that no man should die. No, read it again. That one man? A slacky. That one man should die for for the people and that the whole nation perish not yeah talking about lord yahweh dying for the children of israel okay go ahead verse 51 and this spake he not of himself but being high priest that year he prophesied that mm -hmm. that yahweh should die for that nation yeah die for the children of israel go ahead it says and and not for that nation only yeah and if um if you were in church that's where your pastor would stop at you know he'll have it on the board and not for that nation only yeah and then he'll break down the scriptures how he wanted to be broken down but let's keep reading Go ahead. it says but that also he should gather together in one the children of the Most High, that yeah, who are the children of the Most High? I'm so lucky, brother. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the children of Israel. Okay, and really, uh, if I'm not mistaken, usually, um, you know, because the New Testament is originally written in Hebrew, when you see children, it really means sons. Mm -hmm. Well, was it written in Greek, New Testament? Well, it was originally written in Hebrew, didn't oh, yeah, kind of, yeah, most definitely. I was, I was, uh, you know, the children, so definitely sons, and who's the sons of the Most High? I get, he, I get that. The, the Israelites, man. Yashar Allah. Princes, he's the princes of the power, man. All right? A prince is the son of the king, you know? So <laughs> the king is the heavenly father. So we're sons of the heavenly father, man. All right? Yashar Allah. I got a quick one. This is Exodus 4 and 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, um, Slaki, I'm going to verse 22. Go straight to the point. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Mm. Hey, so hey, to the to the sons of Israel, man, you know, to the one in one, the sons of Israel that were scattered abroad, you know, finishing off that scripture, yeah. you know, so you know to to the nation to the nation of Israel, you know, were the ones who were scattered abroad, man, just showing you that. Those those Israelites, those Gentiles were the ones, um, they were Israelites, man. You know, they weren't any other heathen nations, man. They were Gentiles because they was in a Gentile state of mind. All right. Just showing you, like I said, to understand uh, the confusion of face, you got to understand that our people were scattered amongst the heathen, you know. Mm -hmm. We can get Matthew 24. Okay. And I'll, I'll get Isaiah 11. I'm already right here. Matthew 24, all right. And 31, I believe, 30 or 31, where he says, um, the Most High shall send his angel. Okay. Matthew 24? Yeah. Um, verse 31. 31. Yep, got it right here. Mm-hmm. It's Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of, of a trump, trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other kind. And that's the that's the earth, man. You know, mm -hmm. from one end of the earth to the other end, man. All right. So throughout the four corners of the earth, the elect of the nation Israel is scattered, you know, and in and, and that time when they get when, you know, the chariots come, uh, the elect are going to be getting beamed up in the chari chariots throughout the four corners of the earth. Yep. You know? And it says elect. What's another name for the elect? The remnant, right? That's right. So this is Isaiah 10 and 21. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty Yahweh. For though thy people be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption, the degree, the decreed, 
shall overflow with righteousness. You know, that was just proven that the elect that the Lord is gathering from the four corners of the earth is the children of Israel, you know? Good kind. The elect of them. I got another piece to go back up that. It says, <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 3. Mm -hmm. And I will gather the remnant. All right. Now the word for the elect. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It says, I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whether I have driven them and they will and I will select it and we'll bring them again. Yeah. It said from all countries, right? Okay. All countries where you have driven them, you know, okay. and it, it just read in Matthew, the 24th chapter that he's driven them from one, from, from one end of the heaven, even onto the other, you okay. know? So wherever there is a, a, wherever there is people, the children of Israel are there. Yeah. You know? Okay. I'm going to read that again. This is um Jeremiah 23 verse three. Mm -hmm. And I will gather the remnant of my flock, out of all countries, mm -hmm. whether I have driven them yep. and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase kind, yeah. you know, so like, yeah, you have to lie, bro. And how did, how is the Lord going to bring them back by the angels? You know, ultimately starting with this word, you know, the elect is going to return, you know, with the, um, by this word first and foremost, and how is he physically going to gather them? By those cherries, by the, what you people ignorantly call UFOs, you know? Huh, you know, so, the like like the brother, you know, mainly wanted to point out in this lesson, you know, was that the nation of Israel was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. So, you got to have Israelites who come, and they might not look like the typical Israelite, you know? Why? Because yeah. we were scattered, man, and generation after generation, our people dwelled in that land with that heathen nation. And, you know, this is just like uh, this is a building block to understand the uh, confusion of faces, you know? Yeah, that's why I tell you in Revelation 7 chapter, the great multitude. That's why John didn't recognize them. He said, um, who are these? He was like, thou knowest, you know, because John. John didn't recognize the, the people, the children of Israel. Why? Because they look like all other nations. That's right. That's right. You got Isaiah 11 and 11. And then St. Jeremiah 16 and 14. You can go either one. They're, they both go into it. 11, 11. Yeah, Isaiah 11, 11, yep. All right, this book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 11. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in that day. Yeah, meaning future prophecy. Go ahead. That Yahweh shall set his hand again the second time. Yeah, and when was the first time the Lord hit? I'm sorry, go ahead and keep reading. It says again the second time. To recover the remnant of his people. Yeah, and when when was the first time the Lord um recovered his people? When he um delivered us out of the land of Egypt, you know. That's right. But this time, the second time, is he's only gonna gather the remnant because the whole um, nation of Israel was um brought out of the land of Egypt. But now the Lord's only gonna um deliver the remnant. But let's see where the remnant is. Which shall be left from. Assyria. Yes, yeah, so we got Israelites over there in Assyria. Go ahead. And from Egypt. Mm -hmm, we got Israelites in Egypt. And from Pathros. Israelites in Pathros. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that might be in Greece, in like in Greek, you know, the Greek, you know, almost the Greek. Um, as a matter of fact, I can see, I can just look at it right now in the, uh, in, the in the blue letter. Yep. So basically, Israelites are scattered everywhere. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, you know. You know, who's basically whose um, forefather goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The children of Israel are scattered abroad. Oh, it's like <laughs> Pathros. It's a, uh, a, that says another part of Egypt. It says a part of Egypt and the home of the country of the uh, Pathronian. It's a, you know, so the location, the upper part of Egypt, Slaki. Mm. Didn't want to mess that up. So it says, and from Egypt and from Path Pathros. And from Cush, yeah, the Ethiopia, you know, um, it says, and from Elam, which is you know the uh, dot head East Indians, you know, yeah. so in India you got Israelites in India, it says, um, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. So yeah. hey, you got uh, Israelites in uh, uh, Fiji, um, Israelites in uh, uh, with the uh, Samoa. Hawaii, all, all those little islands, you know, the Philippines, yeah, all those. Yeah, you got a brother over there in the Philippines, man, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, just showing you, we're, we've been scattered everywhere in every part where, you know, uh, 
man, mankind dwells, yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be an Israelite there, man. Yeah. <laughs> if, a, if a heathen's there, or Israelite's there. Right next to him. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, um, Jeremiah, um, sixteen and fourteen, and then we'll close out that one. Okay. This is a uh, Jeremiah chapter sixteen, verse fourteen. Mm-hmm. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, mm-hmm. that it shall no more be said, Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Yeah, go ahead. Verse fifteen, but Yahweh liveth that brought up. The children of Israel from the land of the north. Yeah, talking about here in America. Go ahead. It says, and from all the lands whether he had driven them. Yeah, all the land he had driven them, you know. So the Lord has, you know, uh scattered the children of Israel, but at the end he's gonna gather um his starting with he's gonna gather the children of Israel, starting with his elect, and bring them back into the land and we're gonna be fruitful and multiply and bring back the rest of the nation, you know? That's right. It says, and I will bring them again to their to their land that I gave unto their fathers. Yeah, that, that's the spirit, you know. The Lord is going to bring us back into our land and set us up. And then we're going to get the um, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, starting at the first ber- verse on down, where it speaks of the blessings. Those are going to come upon the children of Israel. Once again, starting with the elect and the curses are going to be... Um, According to Deuteronomy 30 and 7 Are going to come upon you heathen nations Our enemies you know That's right that's right. But you know the Lord's willing you brothers are edified You know it's just going to how the children of Israel Were scattered amongst all these heathens We're scattered everywhere amongst these heathens You know That's right But the Lord is going to come once again And gather his elect You know the Lord's willing to be a part of that And bring us back to his land you know Yeah that's right But um you want to say anything bro Oh like I said this you know this Is just a building block for you, for you know, brothers to understand that not every Israelite is gonna come looking like you know, uh, Shaft. like Shaft or <laughs> or or, Putin or Puerto Rican or Native American, you gotta have them coming like looking like the heathen nations because we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Mm-hmm. Con, con. Well, um, like I said, Lord's willing, you brothers were edified. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakarkadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Till next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.